Good morning. It is December the 5th, I think. I think it's December the 5th. It is Monday morning, and we'll be getting started in just a moment. But first, I'd like to say thank you if you've already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, please click the subscribe button. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you like, what you don't. Give me some feedback up for other content you'd like to see me create. Share my videos with your friends. All these things will help me grow, and I'm grateful for everything that you do to help this channel to grow. So let's get right to our reading. Okay, so the mental focus for today is the strength. And this is no need for brute force. You can get more with sugar and honey um, than you can with vinegar. Uh, Kindness, love, compassion, gentle care will always outweigh, um, you know, brute force or, or stern hand. Stand up for yourself. Let go of fear. Be happy uh, uh, with yourself for who and what you are. Our overall energy is follow your heart. You can trust your feelings. And I think uh, this is telling us to celebrate the joys, um, but to also learn from the pain. Um, everybody is entitled to their feelings, um, but all you need to do is feel the feelings and learn from them and move on. Um, they are valid. Your feelings are valid. Our room for improvement is the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is typically about uh, the potential for money, um, for home, job. It's just general stability. Um, the Ace of Pentacles also usually brings good news. It's of an opportunity for any of those aforementioned things of money, a job, or whatever. And it also um, represents us being content and happy. And so there's always room for improvement when it comes to stability or contentment. Our strengths is the moon. And the moon uh, says that we're tuned in to our intuition to take the time to see things as they really are. Because right now, things are like a dream or an illusion. So take that time that you need. Don't rush into anything. Uh, to see things as they really are. And um, to get that sleep and that rest that you need in the meantime. And our outcome is going to be the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords is somebody trying to be sneaky, either the other person or you, but somebody's trying to get away with something, and it might be they're either lying to you, or you're lying to someone else, or maybe you got a situation to where you having to do some little backhanded stuff to get what it is that you want. Um, but deception is never good. Um, you need to put yourself first, even if it lets others down. But that would mean like, say, for instance, you're supposed to work, but it's your child's birthday party. In, in an instance like that, you may put the party ahead of work. Uh, and that would be disappointing to some people. But um, you don't want to be doing sneaky maneuvers and, and, and deceptive things, say, on your job. Uh, that can come back to bite you in the behind. Remember that you can't be everything to everyone. And um, whatever goes on, you need to face what has to be faced. 
So our overall thing, I, I'm, I'm going to go with our overall energy of us following our heart and trusting our feelings. Um, I'm a firm believer and I, I, I trust my intuition. I listen to what it says to me. It has never guided me wrong yet. Um, I'm also a firm believer of getting plenty of sleep and rest so I can be my best person that I can be for my greatest and highest good. And so when I'm coming from my heart and I'm taking the time to see things as they really are, not what I want them to be, and I... Um, and when I'm honest, I, I'm going to say that even though our outcome is saying the seven of swords, which is somebody trying to be sneaky, I, you know, honesty just works for me. Um, I can put myself first and um, I can realize that I can't be everything to everybody, but I don't have to lie or be deceptive about it. I can do those things and still be honest and still have some integrity with myself. So let's follow our heart today. Let's trust our feelings. Let's celebrate the joys and let's learn from the pain.